My name is Hotch and I make videos and put them on the internet. First thing, happy Friday, welcome to your weekend, have a good time. Second thing, if you don't know who Small Beans is, you can get the fuck out of my face. Small Beans is one of the og of OG gaming YouTubers uh, that's still around on this platform. And he's got a real interesting story, man. He, he blew the fuck up during Modern Warfare 2 and then decided to take a break because he got burnt out. And then he came back and just blew the fuck up again. I don't know who does that. Who blows up twice on YouTube? It just doesn't happen. Um, but he is one of the nicest guys around. And his videos, to me, were always amongst some of the most entertaining that I had seen. As far as YouTube montages go, in my mind, he's unrivaled. I think he takes the top spot of all time for me in terms of montage makers. As far as the background, what you guys are watching in the background for this video, it's just some solo chess. It's not meant to be... Uh, it's not meant to tie into the discussion, it's just filler. Um, but I ended up playing the same guy a few times yesterday. We had some really good games, so that's what's going to play in the background. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for letting me live out my dream day in and day out. I just hit another milestone on Twitch last night. I got 1,250 subscribers, which is just mind-blowing to me. Um, you know, Coming from someone who has taken a break and then come back, it's tough. If you take a break on YouTube and come back, it really is tough to to capture people's interest once again and the fact that so many of you guys are still around and supporting me and um, you know doing that whole thing means the world to me and I can't say thank you guys enough I appreciate each and every one of you once again have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later so your name is small beans you've been yep. uh, you've been making videos and putting them on the internet since 2008 yeah correct but to well, um, yeah, kind of I had another channel originally, which I made RuneScape videos on from like 2006 or 2005, but yeah, I wouldn't call that making videos as such. That wasn't the, 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 that wasn't the same channel that you're running right now? Oh, no, no, no. That was my uh, <clears throat> a completely different channel, yeah, which I, nine years ago, ten years ago, there's videos on that channel, so quite a while ago. So you, um, you got you got real big around the time of Call of Duty. You were well yep. known as someone who you, who liked to snipe and make yes. uh, videos with songs from the Shrek soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, and then one day you were like, "Nah, I'm good off COD." Can, yeah. So can you like, do you play COD anymore at all? No, I uh, I got a PS4 for basically for the reason of trying out Modern Warfare Remastered because I was like, "Oh, COD 4, my favorite COD." This should be fun, but I I played it a bit, but I just I I I think PC games and PC shooters have ruined Xbox and P PS4 shooters for me because I'm really into CS:GO. So like COD 4 in comparison, there's just no competitive aspect to it unless you play like Battlegrounds or something like that. So I I find uh, that I'm just really into PC FPS shooters at the moment and. I don't know. It's just killed COD for me, really. That's I just didn't enjoy it. It surprised a lot of people when you stopped playing COD. Like it, it seemed like kind of abrupt too. So like, what? Can yeah. You, one day you just decided, you know, like I am just done making montages. I want to do something different. Did you know that you wanted to still do YouTube when you stopped, or did you think that you were <laughs> like stopping? I stopping? thought I was done. No, I thought I was completely done. COD, just in general, like I don't know what it was. It just became like more of a chore to play it. Yeah. As it was like, if I get on. I want to hit a clip and then you'd play for like a few hours and not hit a clip. And then it's just like, I feel like I'm wasting my time. And I'm, it's like, there was like quite a lot of pressure for you to hit a clip and like the standards were getting so high. And it was just like, I just, I just couldn't be bothered anymore with it. To be honest, it was just too stressful. It wasn't fun to play. It was just, yeah. Well, when you watch people like Sprat and Pomage, do you, do you watch any of their, their recent videos? I've seen a few of Pomages, like his montages. I, I occasionally click on those and watch those because I see him hyping them up on Twitter loads and I'm like, oh, I'll check this out. And Matty Mondays, you might remember him from the Glint yeah. series. He yeah. still uploads uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. He's actually really into that. So I've been watching a few of his videos on it occasionally. Uh, but apart from that, no, I, I don't really watch many COD YouTubers as such. I'm not subscribed to any at the moment, I don't believe. So you, <clears throat> but when you watch some of Pomage's recent videos or, or montages, you don't ever, you don't ever wish that you, you still like, do you ever get the urge to go back and just do it again as like a throwback? Uh, I did a bit when Modern Warfare Remastered came out and I had it like there in front of me and I was like, I started using the sniper and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty fun. 
but after a few days it just i just got bored with it really and i just went back to playing counter strike so uh, but I, I not really i'd say i, I watch them and i'm like holy moly that is really good but i it doesn't give me the urge to play as such because i know it'd take me a while to get at that good yeah. or like as good as i was back then that's another thing i seeing as i took such a long break from it i came back and i was terrible and it was so like horrible <laughs> just knowing like <laughs> i used to be able to do all this and i just i could like barely hit any shots it was no it was it was not fun when i went back so would you say that you burnt out oh yeah definitely it was i think it's i i think i played i had multiple accounts in cod 4 i had about 80 days game time over all those one well, modern warfare 2 uh, towards the end it kind of got a bit hacker lobby-ish and yeah. that kind of killed the game off uh but yeah i definitely burnt out and i played way too much and the new cards i i i there was i i stopped buying them after ghosts like ghosts was the last one i was just like yeah i'm done i'm not gonna bother buying the newest one it's an understandable title to stop at makes yeah sense. makes sense to me um can you talk a little bit about like how did you come to the decision to stop was it like a decision that you had to make over the course of days or weeks or months because i've taken a couple breaks from youtube and both times that i took a break it wasn't something that i just like woke up one day and decided to do it was like something that i grappled with for you know sometimes two or three weeks or like a month two months where it was really hard for me to like i knew that i didn't want to keep doing what i was doing but i didn't know what i wanted to do instead and so it just made you know that on top of the fact that there's like you're you're still trying to make a video every day yeah in spite of feeling all that it can make you feel just like completely soul sucked and so it's almost yeah, like I got to, no no go sorry, ahead I got, yeah. I got to the point where i was just like i was barely even uploading videos and i was just focusing on other stuff like I had, uh, I just started college and I had a girlfriend who I went over to see quite often. And it, that, was, that was basically it. Like I just didn't put as much time into it and just started to lose interest. And it was like a lengthy process. Like you said, I was like, I'm just, I'm not enjoying this as I used to enjoy it. Like I remember I used to upload a video and I'd be like, oh, I can't wait to see what people say about these clips and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, I'll just, I prepped for like one last video. It was like Glint 4. I was like, this will be the last one. Uh, the last COD video that I'll do. And uh, I was planning on just like quitting YouTube in general because I didn't see any future in it and I didn't see like what I could do with it in a way. I was just, I just wanted to get off YouTube. I was bored of it and I just decided, you know what, I'll uh, I'll make like a goodbye video. Then after that, I'll upload Glint 4 and I'll be done. And I basically was with COD after that point. I don't, I've, yeah. I uploaded a couple of videos when I came back, but it was never the same really so were you were you going to school at that time like did you have something else to to um to fall back on or were you just like i don't yeah. know what to do but i don't want to do that i uh i in in the uk we go to college when you're like 16 to 7 uh, well 16 to 18 sorry and i had dropped out previously because basically i was playing way too much video games and <laughs> i was not studying whatsoever and that kind of uh didn't help my grades and i was not enjoying it at the time and i was just like you know what i'll just do this youtube bit for a year did that and then like i eventually just burnt out on cod and then came uh i've lost what i'm saying now and then yeah i i, I decided you know what in two years time when this whole cod thing was sort of like i was burning out and it's like you know what i need to do something in my life went back to college and chose some subjects that i really enjoyed doing and was having a better time at that and was like you know i don't want to do this youtube thing as much anymore so decided i'll just stop it eventually what kind of subjects did, the you, bang. did you drift towards in uh in was it university or college at this point it is college at this point and uh it was like media themes ones it is media ict and film studies so like all video based uh like uh, subjects even yeah and uh i did a lot i did video editing in that like one of my our projects was to make a music video and i edited it because i was like you know what you, you should see glint too man the editing <laughs> on that was sick i'll edit i'll edit this video for us totally yeah so, uh, no yeah, your videos, so was, your videos were always clean man like you you uh you figured out how to make your like your montages like pop like when you watch yeah. the small beans montage back then it like just made you smile because like yeah, the, cause I, was, it, it, I think it was the song choices as well like yeah that was a big really part of it funky but, songs. but you had that like you your videos were kind of like 
because <clears throat> I remember at the time, like I was starting to get a little sour on COD as well. And but when I would watch your videos, it would remind me, like, oh, okay, like this this takes me back to that time when it was just because COD oh, yeah. was a lot of fun. Like to start yeah. off, like COD two, COD four, World World of War, and Modern Warfare two. Like that time was like pretty magical for like a lot of us in this in this YouTube yeah. thing. <clears throat> So you mentioned that you had a, a a girlfriend that you were going to visit. Is that the same girlfriend that you're with now? Yeah, Lizzie, Elderly Shadow Lady on YouTube, who is insanely famous, like way more famous than me, which is fun. But no, I'm kidding. It's, it's okay. I'm okay with it. <laughs> is she really? Did she did she like blow you out of the water or what? Uh, she has three million subscribers now, I believe. Oh. She just hit that the other day, and she she gets insane views, and she just. Everyone loves her, basically. If I have like, if she's in one of my videos, that video does four times as well as normally it would do, <laughs> sort of thing. So yeah. yeah, she's super popular right now. Well, so damn man, you've been so you've been together for a little bit then. Yeah, five and a half years, I believe now, nearly, oh, nearly six. I think six and I can't remember like oh, January. I think it'll be six years next year. You are a young man too. How old are you? You're like twenty three. Uh, yeah, 23, exactly. 24 coming up in a month's time. So, yeah. It's, wow. yeah I've been with her since I was 18. So, yeah. So, you um, so you stopped YouTube. How long did you stop for again? It was like probably like a year, It's like right? a year. Yeah. It was a year, yeah. I, I, I think it was a, I made it like another channel kind of about seven months later because I was like, you know what? I, I want to make a video. So, I made like a sort of... I called it in the bean time because it's like in the meantime before I think I something to come back on my channel. So I was like, oh, that's a really good name. So I called it that. I learned just a few, I think it's like six videos in total, just like fun stuff that I was doing with Lizzie and my sister. Yeah. And that was like my little project. And then I came back to my main channel because I was like, you know what? I could do this gaming thing again. So was she so I, uh, was she doing YouTube at the time too, or did she get into yeah. YouTube? Yeah. Oh, she was. Okay. She was doing YouTube when we met, but she I think at the time we met, I had about two hundred thousand subscribers, and she had about six thousand something like that. So she like not only overtook me, but like way surpassed me at one point. I remember we were like kind of equal, cool and she just went and just shot off. Um. So yeah, like she kind of encouraged me to make videos again a bit, like especially on the in the Bean Time channel, and introduced me <laughs> to like Minecraft name, and Minecraft <laughs> videos. Yeah, it's, it's a good channel name. Uh, there's still the, that channel's still up there, but I'm not sure. Uh, so how you, well, I would do if I uploaded so, on it now. So you stopped for about a year, and then all of a sudden, like one day, it's just seemingly out of the blue. I think you said it on on Twitter. Like I just saw you post something on Twitter, like, "Hey, decided to start making videos again." All of a sudden. You were making yeah. these Minecraft videos, <clears throat> and uh, they weren't getting like the same amount of views that that, that your COD video videos were getting. But then, I just glanced at your channel now. Like you're doing all right. Like that, that, yes. whole, that whole Minecraft thing did did pretty pr pretty well for you. <laughs> How like yeah, I've... What, did you go into it thinking like, all right, I'm not gonna expect much out of this, or did you go in yeah. with high hopes, or what was your mindset? No, I went in like thinking I'll be lucky if I get like one hundredth of the views that i used to get because i knew it's like uh, a completely different audience to like the cod obviously yeah and i was thinking like I'm, it's basically like starting fresh i was like really struggling to decide if i should go back to my old channel or go for a brand new channel in like general and just start uploading from fresh yeah but i thought you know what i'm i like the fact that all my if you go on the oldest videos you can see like all the stuff that i've done in the past because i'm not like ashamed of it i'm quite proud of all the cod stuff and montages and stuff so i was like, yeah I'll, I'll keep it all on one channel so that i can look back in like seven years time and be like oh yeah that's cool i did this and you can see like the, the where it changes and stuff and yeah yeah it was a big uh a big difference and at first i started losing subscribers which i was completely expecting uh but eventually it started to it got to a point where uh the gaining was going up more than i was losing sort of thing i think uh because like as i said completely different audience and the new audience was coming in and i was i saw that i was gaining subscribers but yeah I, and that sort of motivated me and the view started eventually rising up again which was nice how long did that take you i mean how long of, of grind, grinding minecraft videos before you started to see the kind of growth probably, that you wanted. There was a few points where it sort of plateaued, and then there was a few bits where it sort of peaked and started gaining. I'd, I'd say it was about a year before it started, like getting. I think I was getting probably about ten thousand views a video for that year, and then it shot up to about fifty k, like like over like the cost like three months or something. Yeah. Uh, there was a few series that helped that out and videos that 
made that shoot up. And also with Lizzie's channel, I appeared in a lot of her videos. And as her channel grew, like some people were like, oh, check out Joel's channel as well, and came to my channel, which was uh, nice of them. Is it nice? Um, I've never dated a YouTuber before. Like, is, is it nice that to, to have someone who's on the same page as you? You guys understand oh, yeah, what yeah. goes into Definitely. it? Definitely. There, there is negatives there, like as in we we both have terrible sleeping patterns because obviously we don't have to wake up for anything. Yeah. And uh, we, like, we're pretty lazy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> okay. yeah, it is nice because, like, uh, if I'm saying like oh, I need to record a video, she'll understand that. And like if she says I'm recording a video, don't disturb me. I'm like, yeah, okay, it's sure, no thing, no problem. Whereas I'm sure some people would be like, oh, it's just like your stupid YouTube channel sort of thing. And she understands like, like this is a job sort of thing. It's not just a fun little hobby that you got on the side, which yeah. is nice. How did you guys meet? So you, did you guys meet at some kind of convention or something? Because you said that she was already doing YouTube yeah. when you guys got together. It was a, a really rubbishy little gaming convention called Game Fest in the UK in like 2010, um, which we were we both had a mutual friend of Vicstar One Two Three. Yeah. I so know. so he sort of like kind of introduced us. Like we wouldn't have met if it wasn't for Vic. So shout out to Vic. Uh, but yeah, he uh, we were just both in like a similar group, and our groups like met up, and uh, we just hung out for the day there. And then got back and had each other on Skype and started talking. Because originally at the time, she lived uh, an hour away from me. So it was kind of like reason. Not I guess it's not super long distance. No, but like kind not, of hours, nothing. Yeah. Well, for me, who couldn't drive it, and had no money at the time, it was long distance because like train journeys in the UK are expensive. And I couldn't, I, I was too young to, well, not I, I hadn't passed my driving test yet. So I couldn't drive. So No uh, money at the time. Or did you, didn't you have the machinima? 250 all views cpm thing <sighs> yeah no that, that that soon faded i had, i had a terrible rate with machinima for a while uh, i could i could talk about that oh can i not are you still with machinima <laughs> i am yeah let's just avoid that oh, conversation. okay yeah let's right, just yeah. forget that <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so that's uh so you guys met at this convention you added at each other on skype and then like how, like how how long before you guys figured out that you wanted to like date date you guys you guys like live together now don't you yeah, we lived together now. It was about three months, I'd say. Um, she actually had, was just starting uni, like when we first started dating. So uh, I lived at home for like three, those three years she was at uni. And then after uni finished, I basically moved in with her and her dad yeah. uh, until we could get a house of our own, which we eventually did. But obviously a, a long process. So after about a year, we moved into the house we're currently in. And it was we've been here about a year now as well. So uh that that makes yeah 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 it's a year now so we've been living here a year now and it's, it basically feels like now which is nice do you guys ever get competitive with each other or is it more a uh, spirit of cooperation like oh no to... it is cooperation if i did get competitive i would lose every time <laughs> uh, we get competitive in games but if it's like youtube there's no there's no competition there it's just hell every time winning so I don't, I don't bother get competitive. <laughs> do you ever miss, um, do you ever miss the old days? Do you ever like, <clears throat> yeah, uh, ever... I enjoyed some processes about it. Like I like the editing process. That was always fun to, uh, find a song that you really liked and just add it, add the clips in yeah. and getting clips was really pretty. Like when you hit something, it's like that feeling was like amazing. Like when you hit a really good clip, you're like, Oh, this is going to bang in the montage sort yeah. of thing. Everyone's going to love this. I that used to, fun. um, I used to download some song like, or like listen to songs on the radio and like some song would come on. And all of a sudden in my mind, if I really dug the song, I would start imagining yeah. what a montage would look like <laughs> to the beat. Yeah. I would do that all the time, man. And yeah, you can't get away with it with, anymore. Like, movies, yeah. You can't get I'd away with TV it anymore. Show. Oh, you'd watch TV shows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Like scrubs. There's like a few songs. In scrubs. Like, oh, be... I, I i used matty i edited a lot of matty mondays for him and uh like every monday i just find a random song and just use it to him so he had some really weird songs i think i used avril lavigne in one of those for example just <laughs> yes. like, i was like that song at the time i was like yeah this is a really good song i'll put this in the montage that's great dude there's something about girly pop songs that make f like for such incredible montage music yeah like Katy perry um... oh my god <laughs> She, the problem she, with most of those is they're so copyrighted that you just get like strike after strike. Oh yeah, the... you could never do that now. That's that's yeah. what I was gonna say a minute ago. Like you couldn't, you can't, <laughs> you just like back then you could just do that and you know maybe you would get a strike, maybe not, and then maybe the MCN would help 
get yeah. rid of the or you, strike. Could, you could do that Vegas trick where you could like slow it down by like 0 0.01 or change the pitch or something so it wouldn't recognize it. <laughs> I never did that because I never wanted to mess with the song, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I only got one copyright strike from a song, and that was Florence and the Machine. It was like I my think best I got montage, one. too. You never got one? No, I used like really weird songs so like they weren't super popular at the time like, lucky man. apart from like maybe smash mouth uh but i uh, yeah most of them never got copyright i never got a strike i only got one strike over on youtube and that's when i was live streaming yeah. and a friend of mine had like this obscene picture as his skype thing and i clicked on it and then <laughs> oh, i got a strike for like nudity or something which is oh, like, wow, my only yeah. strike ever on youtube <laughs> is that like a bigger strike than the other ones does it count as two strikes no, it's just one strike. Three strikes, you're out still. So oh. I never got another one after that. So you can get away with two instances of nudity before yeah. you get it. That's good to know. Good to <laughs> know, Beans. Um, so you, would you say? So you say you you think you're having more fun now than you were back then? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because it's like it's a lot easier to be more creative now. I feel like COD is like montages, commentary there's like competitive card as well i guess but like there was some many options out there and there's like i don't know now like minecraft is such a game where you can just like it's so customizable you can do whatever you want you can build you can have a, like servers with friends and like yeah. mods and all that stuff it's just like so there's so many possibilities i didn't get i didn't really get it at first <clears throat> when minecraft first started getting big in, in fact i didn't get it at all like i i, would, I remember feeling like pretty judgmental of people that were playing minecraft Except for Adam, of yeah. course. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but then, like through the years, it like started to make sense to me, and now I don't question it at all. Yeah. So it's it's good that you found a game that you feel like you can be more creative with, because it's like you said, there's like there's there's really not a whole lot of limitations as far as what you can do in that game. Whereas in COD, it's like the variation there is like, well, I can use a fifty cal or an M forty, or I yeah. can play a free for all or domination, but you're still kind of doing the same thing. I still play. Yeah. Um, Modern Warfare Remastered Game Battles, and I still have a lot of fun with that, but that's oh, about yeah, the that only... That's about, like, the only way I can get satisfaction out of the game. Like, I can have kind of, like, some fun playing pubs, but I think that ship has sailed. I don't think it's ever going to be at the point yeah. where I'm, like, trying to get to 10th Prestige in, like, the first month or something. Like, I'm just not too interested in doing that anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think I even got to level 55 when I played Modern Warfare Remastered. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's just... Felt good. They did a good job with the remaster for sure. Yeah, I thought it was fun, but like I said, I just was like, I just crave the competitive aspect of like Counter Strike and games like that. Will you commit right here and now to doing a Glint Five when they remaster Modern Warfare Two? No, no, definitely not. Matty <laughs> always goes on about doing it. And I'm just like, no, cannot be bothered. Like he would, he's like, oh, all I have to do is hit some clips. But then it took like, it takes like two weeks to edit that sort of thing. It's like, <laughs> it's, I just, no, I can't, can't not, be bothered. You're not into it. What no. if someone edited no. it for you? No, it's not the same. I, I would, I would have to edit it. I don't, I don't, I never liked getting people to edit montages for me because I thought one of the reasons people watch them is because of my style of editing yeah so i don't really want someone else taking over the reins on that i only did that on a few like series where i was like yeah you can edit this because i can't be bothered basically it takes too long what if i launched a kickstarter campaign to finance you <laughs> for the amount of time it would take to capture and edit oh, it'd be a long five. time because i'd have to learn how to play call of duty again so so for i mean be, what if i yeah. kickstarted twenty thousand there, dollars uh, honestly i don't think there's anything you could do to uh persuade me i'm just i just i'm just done with that son of a bitch <laughs> i really like those videos all right i understand i get it um can you talk like a little bit like we can wrap this up pretty soon but i just it's one question that i like to ask everybody that comes okay. on is <clears throat> was there um see now this question is kind of weird when you apply it to you because you had like two waves of, of success on youtube so we'll, i'll just yeah. talk i'll just talk about the second wave of success that you had like post break was there okay. um was there a moment where you realized like okay this is a thing again or did that was that something that kind of happened over time like one day you woke up and you realized okay well, like the last you know 10 videos all got over fifty thousand views so i think i might be doing okay here or was it like there was one day where one video blew up and then 
your channel just kind of stayed on that path for the rest of your time? Um, I don't know. I'd say I think I know the point where it was like, okay, uh, things are going really good sort of thing. And it's when we did this series where it's like has about 12 of my friends in it's called crazy craft and it's this mod pack on this multiplayer server and we uh, started out and eventually each of those videos i knew was just gonna do extremely well no matter what, like like when i uploaded it or whatever i did in it sort of thing i just thought from that like that series i knew is like sort of what was like when my channel was like okay things are going really well now sort of thing that was the series that super helped my channel and i was getting subscribers and views so like mental when yeah. we were doing that series so i'd say then is when i was like yeah this is it this is this is this is good i can make a living out of this sort of thing do you got any advice for the the, the young bucks that are trying to get into this youtube twitch game i i honestly have no idea i just i always say like just make consistent quality content but don't expect to get instantly famous because it's it is a lot of luck. Like that's what I always say. It's like there's this. I have no idea how I got like a million subscribers on YouTube when I think about it. Like because I, I I watch some of my old videos and I'm like oh my gosh that is terrible. Like I can't believe I used to sound like that. This is not entertaining. And then I try to be better now, obviously. But I I, I don't know. It's just a lot of luck. I think I reckon. Well, you're it's being, hard to you're being modest. Like they're. There, there is it's, some luck because like sometimes you never know how the algorithm's going to favor you and like that's yeah. totally out of your control obviously but then you know like you i think you need to be for someone in your position you, you need to be at least somewhat likable you know your videos yeah need, definitely. Your videos need to have a certain amount of polish and you need uh, to stay positive as well like i when you watch people's videos and they're just like negative all the time people don't like relate to that or, or they do relate to it in a way but they don't it's not enjoyable for them to watch if you are just like complaining. Or, oh, I hate that. And yeah, it's just yeah. that's and you've got to be upbeat as well. Like you can't be like, "Hey guys, so uh, today we are <laughs> going to play some Call of Duty." And it's just like, oh, "Come on, man!" It's you got to be like, you got to be on it. And I'd, I'd say editing is a huge part of videos nowadays as well. They used to be quite a popular, like, oh, let's just like record myself playing Minecraft for thirty minutes. People will watch this, and people would watch it. Whereas now it's like, it's got to be like, no, no boring stuff. Like if you're going to mine for like two hours, cut it out. Don't just leave it in the video sort of thing. I'd say like editing is an important part and yeah. make it like precise, all your stuff precise. So it's not just, you're not rambling on because no one likes to listen to rambling. Yeah. The, ne the, neg the negativity part is one thing that I totally agree with. I think that's like the downfall of a lot of YouTubers. Like as soon as you see a YouTuber consistently complaining about whatever about some game or about their, their metrics yeah. or analytics or about that to I me is like hearing it, people complain about analytics like like uh like they all especially when they blame it on youtube and oh. like it's like come on you your channel may be going through like a bit of a low period like instead of complaining about it just focus on making videos and keeping the subscribers you have uh, by making better videos, don't just come, go to Twitter and be like, "No, oh, YouTube sub boxes obviously aren't working this month because my views are down." Uh, it's and it's the just worst. Like, come on. It's the worst, man. I, I, I just, I get it, you know, because like sometimes you like everybody has periods on YouTube where there's like peaks and valleys, and sometimes you'll plateau, yeah. and sometimes you decline a little bit, and then you get another boost, and it's just, it is really a roller coaster, and I think yeah. it takes it takes a little bit of fortitude to be able to weather that storm. But, you know, I, I'm totally with you on that one. I think that that's something that the audience, nobody wants to hear that. And I don't think anybody's yeah. going to really find that all all that sympathetic, you know. Yeah. Also, they probably just don't care. Like, yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 it it's uninterested the people who do care if you keep going on about it. And they're the people you want to keep entertained and not yeah. moan at. I'm 100% with you on that one. Yeah. Um, well, Beans, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. I've taken up enough of your time. But, uh, you know, I, I thought that was really cool of you. We haven't spoken in like seven years. And yeah, it's good to I, catch up. I reached out, yeah, totally. And I reached out to you on Twitter, asked if you were willing to come on. And without hesitation, you were like, yeah, sure, let's do this. So it's, uh, it's good yeah. to see you doing so well. Good to see you finding some success again here on this platform. And I wish you and your lovely lady all the best. Thank you. I'm glad you are still going, by the way, as well. Yeah, Seeing me too. You were such a like you were the man back in the day like there was like you and c nanas and it was just like yeah they're the kings of the cod community 
Well, I appreciate you saying that, man. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Beans. Good talking to you. All right, thanks. Bye.